Hey, what's up you guys? This is Scruffy from Team Divine Pro. And today I have an unboxing video of the new Dungeon World Trial Deck for Future Card Buddy Fight Braves Explosion. Z because I actually have two of them, so plural. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is introducing the new Dungeon World for uh, Buddy Fight. And I'm really hyped up about it because it's kind of random. And I was like a big Magic World player to begin with because it was kind of like off the wall. But this is really off the wall and I kind of like it. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. Now, uh, what, uh, what do you guys think about Dungeon World? You can leave it in the comments section below and let us know. Also, Legend World, you know, that, uh, that sword, uh, Balmung, that can, like, one-hit kill Dual Seeker. <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah, we have the deck and all the other little nifty stuff here on the back. I think there's, like, tape or whatever. Yeah. So, you got your life counter, your rule book, your play guide, all that other stuff that nobody wants but gets anyway. And like I said, the life counter has like Gao on it and he looks intense, like super serious. He's like, I'm gonna Drago Fist to you. Like what? Ew, Gao, no. No, not today. Maybe later. So, but anyway, we're gonna jump into the actual deck so, first and foremost, we have here Legendary Warrior Gal. Uh, it's a 4k attack, 5k def, 2 crit. Um, you pay 2 gauge and you put the top card under him for his soul. And whenever he attacks this turn, you can nullify the attacking guard's penetrate. So, it's, I might have said guard, but card. You can nullify the attacking card's penetrate. Um, what's it? is actually pretty cool I uh, I like that so you know if you attack with them and they decide to uh, like let's say you attack uh, what is it um jackknife dispersal I think that has penetrate yeah you just attack and then if he like Drago energy or you know whatever uh, it prevents the penetrate so you'll just lose him instead of taking damage too so that's pretty awesome um yeah, mission card form a party. Basically, uh, whenever you play another card with mission in its name, you can gain one life and search your deck for an adventurer. So it's a, a free adventurer search. And the impact card for the deck, which is Dead End Crush. You pay to gauge, and basically, this is the watered down Gargantua Punisher. Except instead of having to have no monster in the center, you just have to have an item equipped. So. That's, again, pretty awesome. And it deals 3 damage. Uh, Silver Warrior Quinsway, I think, is how you say it. Or Kingsway, something of that nature. Uh, it's a size 2, because there are no size 3s for the deck. Um, but whenever this card link attacks with another adventurer, uh, for the turn, this card gains Penetrate. So, And it's got 3 crits, and you get 2 of those. You get uh, a non-hollow version of the Legendary Warrior Gal. Monk of Bread uh, Deity Prios. Uh, this is your mover for the deck. Craftsman Baku. Uh, this card's really cool because it allows you to gain a free gauge whenever it link attacks with an adventurer. I was actually going to make this the buddy of the deck, but unfortunately it only comes with two. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, uh, Docs Cobalt, the probably the biggest attack monster other than like Gao I think no Gao's got four yeah uh, but anyway it's like a really big attack unit it's got 5k attack 1k def 2 crit but it's a vanilla for size one so that's not bad you get four of those uh, Master Thief Strollbird uh, it's another vanilla size one 4k 2k uh, def 2 crit Fledgling Warrior Ochre Glacier. Uh, you guys have seen uh, Kazane use this card in the anime. And basically whenever it link attacks with another adventurer, it also gains Penetrate. So this is the size 1 version of um, Kingsway or Queensay or whatever. Uh, you get 2 Sage Kuguru. Whenever she link attacks with another adventurer, you gain 1 life. 
Uh, I actually managed to pull this off one day of putting two of them on the field and Link attacking with them and like Mama Sheba and wound up gaining three life. I mean, uh, not three, but two life for each of their abilities. So that was pretty cool. Uh, you get three Mama Sheba Cobalt, which is a size zero for the deck. It's absolutely adorable. Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> Uh, but you get three of those, so I'm uh, I'm actually torn between this and uh, Ochre Glacier for the mock trial deck that I'm going to make as far as the buddy. So, <clears throat> uh, another card that just is a gigantic fist to Dual Seeker, um, Rolling Stone. Basically, you pay two gauge, and both you and your opponent select a monster that's in the center. Any card that's under it for its soul is placed into the drop zone, and then that card is sent to the graveyard. So if you don't have a monster in the center, or you have something that you just want to get rid of, that otherwise you can't, unless you just play over it, then, you know, uh, Rolling Stone is a good initiative, uh, or alternative, sorry, for that. So, <coughs> see, you've got two Oracle of Tuval. This is basically your, um... Uh, Dragonic Grimoire for uh, Dungeon World. An amazing card, <laughs> Pillar of Fire. Basically, you can destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field or your side of the field that has 6,000 power or less. Uh, six, sorry, 6,000 power or defense. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. It's just defense. Just defense. But you get three copies of that, so if you buy two decks you're gonna get four full copies uh, dungeon pit uh, basically this is a counter card that allows you to rest an opponent's monster that size two or lower so uh, like if your opponent drops in a um, I don't know just something you can you can rest it like if they're dropping in uh, I, I I honestly can't think of anything right now but it it just taps them out, so. Um, you get four Divine Protection of Shalsana, which I think is an amazing uh, nullify attack. Uh, you don't have to have any card in the center. You could have a card in the center, whatever. Uh, it has no stipulation other than you pay one gauge, you nullify the attack, and you gain a life. So it's, it's really, really cool, and I like it. Uh, you get two non-hollow versions of Form a Party. You get three copies of the other mission card, uh, Defeat Monsters. Basically, whenever you put this into play, you pay one gauge, and you every time an adventurer destroys an opponent's monster, you get to place a card under this uh, card face down. Whenever this card has two cards under it, you can destroy this card and take those two cards and bring them to your hand. So basically, it's kind of like a postponed draw. So... I mean, it's kind of cool, it's kind of not cool at the same time, but, eh, you know, it's the only other mission card you've got, and I like mission card for my party, so I'll probably use this just for that. Um, you have the card that everyone's been talking about recently, uh, that just got an errata on it, which is Conquering Blade Dungeon Domination. Now... As you can probably see, it has an equip cost right here, which I don't know, you probably can't see because my lighting sucks. But uh, anyway, the equip cost for this is pay one gauge, but it has nothing here. So you can play this for free. No, I'm just kidding. Still pay the gauge. It's just, they forgot to put it on here. But uh, anyway, it's a um, 5k attack, the only other card with 5k in the deck and two crit and also another thing that really makes this neat is um some cards in uh dungeon world allow you to search out adventurers like mission card for my party and the cool thing about weapons like these are they are actually adventurers so you can search out your weapons and that further uh boosts your opportunities to play your impact card of uh dead end crush so that's really really neat I like that they did that on um, the other weapon for the deck is origin blade enemy breaker it's a 3k attack with two crit also an adventurer so you can get that as well 
the non hollow version of Dead End Crush for the deck. And last but not least, the Dungeon World flag, which I think they did a really good job for the Dungeon World flag. Because I like the scroll and I like how it looks almost dungeon e esque ish thing. So, yeah. But anyway, that is the Dungeon World trial deck. Like I said, uh, you know, what do you guys think about Dungeon World? Uh, do you like it? Are you planning on playing it? If not, what do you think could be used to counteract Dungeon World? Leave all of your answers and comments down here in the description box below. Or in the comment section below, sorry. Not the description box. You don't get that. That's us. That's for us. But anyway, <clears throat> go ahead and uh, put all that stuff down in below. Uh, if you haven't already liked, comment, subscribed, all that other good stuff, do that as well. And, yeah, just let us know what you think. Um, we're hoping to bring out more videos in the future. And we hope that you guys will stick around and continue to support us. It really pushes us to make other videos for you guys. But that's enough about us. I'm Scruffy from Team Divine Pro saying see ya. <laughs> Bye, guys.